Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Good morning. That's much better. Thank you. Uh, my name is Liziwe Gladys Machai. I'm going to testify and thank God about his greatness. He is always great. great. He's so great. I can't even stress his greatness. I've come here uh, to tell you about my testimony, but before I do that, I just want to give you a brief, I'm going to be brief, a brief background of who I am. I'm from um, a very traditional family. I'm from a family where rituals are done and I would be there. Not that they'll be done when I'm away. From a very young age, I remember at some point, I had to run away to my grandmother, who was very prayerful, my mom's mom. She said to me, from a very young age, I was four, and she told me that if something doesn't agree with me, I mustn't do it. I must pray to God. So at my father's place, I'm the firstborn. My father was the firstborn. So she would, I mean, he would do things, and I must follow. We have an, an altar in Isizulu, you know it, Umsamo, we call it Umsamo, which is where all the ritual things are put. So he'll be there to go and drink that. It would be there for years. To me, it's like rotten. He would go there, pour water, and, you know, like start, you know, making it to bubble and bubble and bubble. After drinking this thing, it smells rotten first. I must drink it and I must follow. I'll be behind and saying, I would pray and say, my God, I just wish like running away. But there's nothing I can do. I'm a child. I'll go and drink. There'll be lots of things. A lot of things happened to me. Lots. I would say, in short, um, I was initiated, like looking. I was initiated in dreams. And through all these things that happened from both sides, mother, not my grandmother, was very prayerful, and my father's side, I started to have bad things happening to me. Bad dreams. I would dream of snakes. I would dream of dead people. I would dream communicating to them. I would dream them giving me instructions, instructing me what to do. And all these things have made me to, to feel like I'm boxed. I'm inside a box. And I would pray. I remember praying, crying out, saying, my Lord, break this bottle. I'm inside. Because, yes, I'll be praying, but I would still feel boxed, bottled. And um, in 2001, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. And I said, um, Father, the first thing I'm sacrificing is all this belief of having to go and bow down to whatever I don't know and then come back to have bad dreams. But still, the heaviness, the burden in me still continued with me. Bad dreams, they would be there. I'll be chasing snakes. I'm telling you, I'll be fl flying, chasing snakes in the dreams. They would, some would run away, some I'll catch and kill, some I'll strangle and all these things. Until, I would say, until uh, such time that I started praying. That was, I started praying very, very hard in 2001 where I saw that I was actually suffocating from all these problems. I started praying and say, uh, my God, I ask you to, to lead me to where I'll get solution. And then uh, last year, the prayer became so strong because last year a lot of things happened. I can't go into detail with them because at some point I had to be the one who's breaking a case of not getting married in my family, in my clan. So the problems became so worse. They, after getting married, it was like the devil is saying, why did you get married? They became so worse. And I continued praying to God because I believe that he is with me, though I haven't yet seen the, the solution. Then I started praying, saying, my God, please just lead me to where I will get solution. I know there must be solution with you because I have faith in you. You are the creator of heaven and earth. Somewhere on this earth, there must be a solution. Then um, in 2001, my friend, uh, no, 2002, my friend just told me that, um, my friend, I, I went to this church and I can see some changes. Actually, I've been through a lot with this friend, a lot, a lot. So she told me she's been to this church and she told me some of the movements and that there was a calendar. My heart was attached with the calendar because I said, you know, with the calendar, the calendar, it, it, it directs the whole year. I didn't ask then, okay, uh, okay, this is uh, the calendar of Shekinah, of 
of Clorus Faith Ministries. Then, then I didn't get the calendar yet. The only thing I asked, I said, uh, please, my friend, just um, tell me when there are movements of faith in the place where you say you are. For example, if there are any um, fastings, please, I would like to join. And I was joining for the first time. I did a three-day you know, completed dry fasting for the first time. That was the first time, even before I came here. Then um, one Saturday, after doing the laundry, and I was still praying, asking God to lead me, uh, around eight, late, I did it during the day when I was praying late, before eight or after eight, she just came to my mind. And this thing of wanting to go somewhere came to me. I called her. I said, uh, please just give me a direction of where you say you are going. She was like, okay, where? I said, the church she told me about, the one I said I'll fast with. Oh, she said, oh, okay. Then she gave me the direction. I said to her, you will meet me in church if you're going to be late. Then I called my sister. The first time I came here to the house of God, I was with my sister. So we came here. We, we didn't get lost. We just, you know, but then we were here. We were here very early. I think the church, when it started, we were outside. And as we were outside, I said to my sister, you know, it saddens me. People of God are passing the house of God, but we are not doing anything, me and you. We must invite them to come inside. Then my sister smiled and said, how do we invite people in the first day where we, we've never even been inside? Or have you been here? I said, no, I've, I haven't been here, but I would like to come to go into the house of God with a soul. Then I talked with one uh, lady who was passing. I said, please just come and visit us here. The lady said, where? I said, if you see this big house here, I, I, mind you, I've never been inside. I said, this big house here, can you hear? They are praying, they are singing. Please come next time, visit us so that your family can be blessed. She said she'll come. Then we managed to get in. The first thing that uh, happened to me was that I felt that I'm in a different place. Because as I came in the morning, I was praying, uh, asking God to lead me. I said, Father, where I'm going? I'm going to a place I've never been. I don't know where I'm going, but I believe that you are going to guide. I pointed at my feet. I said, Father, you are going to lead. You are going to guide these feet to go to where I'm going. Hallelujah. And please, Father. I said, and please, Father, where I am going, please remind me that I am from far. I left before six to be where I am going. So I cannot go there to play. It's, it's better I stay where I am and the way I am and not do anything. Then... Uh, we came, we came inside, and uh, I was opportune to be in the prayer line that day. Then the prophet came. When he arrives at me, he just laid a hand, and then he said, prayer mountain. So when we left, I said to my friend, I, then it means my case must be a different one. The prophet, did you see the prophet? Did, did you see him? And I, I, must, I must be honest. I, I said, well, the prophet, is he, is he a real prophet? Is he? Then my, my friend said, no, stop it. You, be, you, you better behave. I said, no, I'm asking. I'm just asking. Then I went to the prayer mountain. In the prayer mountain, I manifested a demon. As I was leaving, a man of God advised me to come to church. The first time I came here was the 12th of February. They advised me to come uh, the, next, um, the next day because that was the, sun, the Saturday following the 12th. I came. And as I came... I manifested another demon. Let me tell you something, uh, children of God. When you are from where I come from, you will manifest, I'm telling you. you will. When they say, the one who has this laughing spirit, you will jump. When they say, this one who, who, who goes to bed hungry, you will jump. Hallelujah. But, but so let me tell you. Yes, so yes. my sister, so you said you started coming to Shakina Grace Faith Ministry um, last year, the 12th of February. And, and you were introduced to this ministry by your friend. And you were facing a lot of challenges in your life. You spoke about financial problems. You spoke about having bad dreams, spiritual attacks. And also your, your sister's sons, that, um, they were rebellious and they were failing at school. So my sister, you then were opportuned to be on prayer line. And then you also went to the prayer mountain. Can you tell me what then happened to you after you came from the prayer mountain? After I came uh, from the prayer mountain, um, the man of God said I must come. I came. 
I, uh, well, I won't go through all the manifestations because I was manifesting now and then. Then there was um, the night, night prayer of women. On the night prayer of women, I manifested a terrible demon of a snake now. And that happened after I dreamt the snake saying, talking in me, saying, it will not leave, it's going nowhere. The one that left before was a coward. And this one is the cousin of that one from polar regions. Okay, my sister, people of God, there is something for us to learn when it comes to what you see in your dreams. Our sister did share with us that she was having some bad dreams, bad um, spiritual attacks where she would see um, all these things, the snakes and different things coming and attacking her. And you see from what she's saying that this thing was also manifesting while she was being prayed for in the church. So my sister, you are in the church and you're being prayed for by the men of God. What then happened, my sister? I know you also then started using some mediums. What mediums were you using? Uh, I was using the oil, water, and how were you using these mediums? Okay, uh, with the oil, I learned from the house of God that I need to anoint myself before I go to bed, of which to me, I was very heavy. I was happy because every time I sleep, I would be, like I said, I would be fighting with snakes. So I would anoint myself on the head in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit at the back of my neck, the tongue, so that whatever I say must be aligned with God, the umbilical cord, which is attached to my bloodline and also my feet, that everywhere I go, I must go to where God wants me to go. And with the salt as well, with the salt as well, um, I salt myself. I salt myself. Um, in the morning, I salt myself before going to bed. I salt myself on the head, the tongue, and the feet. And Hallelujah. as I thought, yes. Hallelujah, my sister. Okay, so you are now using all of these mediums. So my sister, can you also make reference to the calendar? What then happened when you started using the calendar? Like I said, that I was always dreaming about uh, snakes. One day I dreamed three snakes in, in my bedroom. One was coiled under the bed and two were just in the bedroom. Then I started using the calendar putting it under the bed, praying. I prayed. I said, my God, I believe that this calendar it is, is having your power. And whatever has been troubling me, all these snakes, they will be no more. They will be history to me because I cannot not sleep when it's time to sleep and be fighting snakes. And after using the calendar, God answered. Hallelujah. God answered. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. So God answered you, my sister. Are you still having the bad dreams? I, you know, now I sleep, I sleep like a baby. I wake up when I wake Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah. Are you still having the spiritual attacks? I don't have spiritual attacks. You know, Hallelujah. I was a person who was very, you, you wouldn't see me when you look at me because oh, I would look very humble. But inside there was this um, conflict inside. I would tell a person that, you, you know what, you're making me angry, I'll remind you after five years. Trust me, after five years, I'll remind the person. That's not from God. After 10 years, I'll remind the person, and that's not from God. So now, if things happen. It doesn't mean things will not happen. They happen, but God has given me uh, his spirit because he lives in me, that I must see him from his angle, that the person who does this, it's not the person, it's the spirit behind Hallelujah. So my sister, you also mentioned in the beginning some of the challenges you were facing. You said your sister's sons were very rebellious and they were failing at school. How are they doing now after you've started coming to Shakana Glorious Faith Ministry and you've been using these mediums? Yes, uh, my sister's sons were very rebellious to such an extent that she told me that she doesn't know what to do anymore except to practice his skills, I mean, his skills of karate and kung fu on them. And I, I asked her not to do that because she has a black belt. I said, you know what, you will be arrested. Please just give your sons to me so that I can take them to church. You know, these boys have changed a lot. Because when they leave, they'll report and they come back in time. The other thing, they were failing at school and they passed, they passed. 
Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. My sister, we thank God of Shekinah, the God of right here, right now, for what he has done in your life. You also mentioned that she had some financial challenges in your life. Now that you've been using the calendar, you've been using these mediums, how are things now? I had uh, a problem. I, I, I remember I, I testified about, uh, I had a problem with the bond. We couldn't pay the bond. And I think it's three weeks or two weeks back, they've given me another option of having to pay a, a manageable installment. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. People of God, I know there's a lot that she's sharing, but she's sharing that, you know, our deliverance is a journey. Whatever challenges, whatever situation you are going through, as you sit down and you wait on God, God will make your ways clear and God will come through for you. My wonderful sister, please can you give um, the viewers and the people in the auditorium um, a word of advice? Okay, my word of advice. Every time I stand here, I always advise that you must read the word of God. Uh, because the word of God is one of the instruments, it's a weapon, it's the rock, it's the fire, it's the light. So if you have the word of God in you, you must know that you have the Lord Jesus Christ in you because he's also the word. And when challenges come, I'm telling you, this fire in you is going to burn the challenges. And yeah. when you open your mouth to, un to, to, to answer a person that is coming to you, not with the Spirit of God, I'm telling you, when you open your mouth, the fire of God, the Word of God is going to come out. With this fire of God, the Word of God, you are going to rebuke, you are going to tell the, the, the storms to be still, and they will be still. Trust me on that. I've seen it happen. And um, children of God, be rooted in your Father. Be rooted in your Father. Let the Holy Spirit live in you. Not, not next to you. Let the Holy Spirit live in you. Knowing that when the Holy Spirit live in you, you live in your Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am in my Father. It means you are in the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, my wonderful sister, for your wonderful testimony. May God continue to do more in you, and may you continue to be a blessing to those around you. Put your hands together as our testifier leaves. <laughs> Hallelujah.